NAD decreases during aging. Why is that important and what can we do about it? So first, in looking at the simplified graph here on the left, we can see uh, activity or levels on the y-axis plotted versus age. And NAD, blue line, activity, decreases during age. So why is that important? Well, NAD levels are involved in the health and functioning of virtually every organ system and tissue in the human body. So how can we uh, increase NAD levels during aging? Well, there are a variety of strategies that have been, sh that have been shown to work. Uh, for example, NAD boosters such as uh, nicot nicotinamide uh, riboside, nicotinamide mononucleotide. Uh, in terms of uh, exercise, exercise has been shown to raise NAD levels. And in terms of diet, fasting and calorie restriction also uh, increase NAD levels. But in terms of diet, that doesn't really say what components within the diet can boost NAD levels. And two components, uh, apigenin and quercetin, have been shown to inhibit CD38 activity. So uh, CD38 is a NADase, which means that it is a protein that uh, uh, degrades NAD. So uh, CD38 uh, levels, as shown on the graph, increase during age, which is one explanation for why NAD levels decrease during aging. So just to have a look at the apigenin and quercetin CD38 data, so um, we can see here on the y-axis CD38 activity plotted against the concentration of apigenin. So as the apigenin concentration increases, uh, intracellular levels of CD38 activity uh, decrease. Uh, similar data is found for quercetin. As the quercetin concentration uh, increases, CD38 activity uh, inside cells decreases. Now that's an, uh, uh, important because uh, NAD levels correspondingly increase. And we can see that here for apigenin. Uh, apigenin levels uh, increase about 50%, sorry. NAD levels increase about 50% in the presence of apigenin, the white bars, intracellular NAD levels. And uh, a smaller but still significant increase for NAD levels is found for uh, quercetin. Um, so, uh, where can we get foods or which foods have apigenin and quercetin with the goal of maximizing uh, intracellular NAD levels? So the most concentrated source of apigenin is found in parsley, 215 and a half milligrams per 100 grams. So to get that into my diet, I add about 40 grams uh, to a smoothie uh, every other day. Now in terms of quercetin, the two best sources of quercetin are found in dill, 55 and a half milligrams per 100 grams, and in red or purple onions. Uh, so the, to uh, actually eat more dill than I do purple, uh, red or purple onions. Um, so when I run out of pickles, I'll take a bunch or a few bunches of dill and some jalapenos and, and whatever spices are left in the, in, the, in the pickle juice, and I'll pickle the dill. So when, once it ferments after a couple days, I'll then eat the pickled dill, about 15 grams or more. So um, uh, I always favor whole foods over supplements, so with this in mind, it may be a good idea to include foods such as parsley, dill, purple onions, and there are other foods. If you want to look at uh, other but less concentrated sources of apigenin and quercetin, I've included the link. That's all I've got. Um, you can find me lots of places online. Have a great day.